easily screw it up. <laughs> yep. Uh, former Republican senator from South Carolina and the man who now runs the Heritage Foundation, Jim Demintz, is with us this morning, old friend of the program. Jim, welcome back, sir. It's great to see you. Uh, hey, Stuart, great to be with you. Mm -hmm. Hate to break this to you. If Republicans do not come together on the current legislative agenda, we're not going to get tax reform, and the Trump agenda goes and walks away, and the Trump agenda is destroyed. So will conservatives like you bend a little on Obamacare and get an agreement quickly? We, we certainly will bend a lot if we can move our health care system in the right direction. We just don't want to create a new federal entitlement without the, the, the drivers that have pushed costs up, Stuart. This first pass that the uh, House has introduced will not lower the prices of uh, health care and health insurance. And uh, there are some uh, amendments that could certainly make this bill better. Uh, our preference has been from the beginning that the Republicans just passed the repeal bill, as they did in 2015, and then begin the process of improving the health care system that we sure. have. But if they're, if they're going to keep this version they have in the House, it needs to be improved or it's not going to pass. Would you vote against it and allow the continuation of Obamacare? Would you just flat out stop reform if it's... Would you stand on principle and vote no on something like the Ryan plan, even if it's amended? If it's amendment, uh, amended in some of the ways that we've suggested, Stuart, I think we could certainly say it's a step in the okay. right direction. And, and as if it's a not, congressman or senator, I could not, vote for it. But it, the way it is, I could not vote for it because I think it, it actually creates a new entitlement without driving the cost down, and that's that, not going to be good for the country. But that brings it down. You don't get Obamacare fixed, and you're going to delay tax reform forever. You know, are you prepared to do that? Well, it's, it's not a good situation. I think the House leadership can fix that. Fortunately, Stuart, the White House, uh, uh, President Trump, has been very open to a lot of the suggestions of, that we've suggested about uh, Medicaid, about expanding health savings accounts, and other things that we know will improve the bill. So I'm optimistic that President Trump is going to push the House to adopt some of the changes that will bring a lot of conservatives to yes on this bill. Okay. Uh, as they say, you, you're not supposed to say this in journalism school, only time will tell. But I'm going to say it because we're still in the negotiating process. Jim DeMint, please do not be such a stranger to Varney and Company. We'd love to have you back. Thank you, Stuart. Yes, sir. I'll see you later. Check that market. We're still not hit 21,000. We got close. Half the Dow stocks are up. Half of them are down.